hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today i am going to be doing an unboxing for you um this is going to be four sample coloring books and some pencils now i believe these no these pencils actually came with the four sample um coloring books so and i thought for the price it was really good value um i can't remember exactly how much they cost but i will put a link to the uk um amazon um site so you can have a look for yourself um but i think it was around 12 13 pound i don't think it was um it wasn't very expensive so let's get into it shall we <clears throat> Sorry for any bouncing. I still need to try and figure out a better way of um, putting my phone onto the stand without causing it to wobble. Okay, right, we don't need that anymore. Okay, so here we are. This is the Brute Funa 120 oil pencils. I've never had oil pencils before and it's very nicely presented in this little plastic case um, on the back we do have a variation of languages um, in English blendable pencils are the perfect colouring solution rich vibrant pigments and expert expertly balanced shades provide superior blending whether you're a beginner a hobbyist or a professional artist these premium pencils are ideal for all your creative work from quick sketches to intricate details and I think they're made by a company in China, made by Gawang Hui Wen, J.O. Co. And it says on the barcode, colouring pencils with four colouring books as a gift. And it is marked with the, um, like a Chinese symbol at the bottom. So first of all, I am quite impressed with how it's being presented. And let me see if I can slide it out without actually ripping the cardboard. Ooh, this is nice. I really like the way this has been presented. Okay, so we're in, we've got the pencils in a plastic wallet. We have two books at the back and two books at the front. So let's just have a quick look at the books and then we'll have a look at the pencils. Ooh, sorry about that. Oh, these are cute. Look at that. How tiny they are. So this one is time travel. Tick, tick for the time. Instant colour. Lost fingers away from the innocence and joy. Oh, these are so cute. They are double-sided pictures, and but the paper is very, very flimsy. Now, I'm thinking fine liners aren't going to work in this. I think you would actually need to use your pencils for this because the paper is very, very flimsy. So I'm just going to do a quick flip through to show you the pictures in this first book. Hopefully you can see okay. I don't know why we feel the need on that particular picture. So that is a bigger version. That is quite a zoomed in version of this picture. Some of them are quite pretty pictures. I'm not sure I would colour them all in though. So we have like quite um, a zoomed out image there and a zoomed in of the same picture there on the clock face. San Francisco Municipal Railway. I don't know why it's reversed. Not quite sure why that is. 
little cable car. Some of these pictures are pretty. I would colour some of them, but not all. I'm really hoping that you can see okay. And again, that one's reversed as well. I'm not sure why that would be. So, anyway, this is... Welcome to Time Travel. Walking in the words, weave a beautiful world. It... What? Walking in the words, weave a beautiful world. It... Apply your favourite colour for the trip to bring life and vitality. Discover hidden among a small surprise. Activate Flextronics. Depict their own time travel. Colouring come together right. Okay, so that is that book, Time Travel. Then we have another book here by Joanna Basford, the creator of Secret Garden and Enchanted Forest. This is The Lost Ocean, an inky adventure and colouring book. Now I've seen the full version of this and it... I do like the look of it. The only thing that puts me off with these is because they're double-sided. Um, again, because this is a very scaled-down version of the book, you would need, I think, to use pencils just to be on the safe side because of how thin the paper is. So hopefully you can see these images okay. Maybe if I just lift you up slightly. I don't want to lift you up too far because otherwise you're going to end up seeing my back garden. So there's, that's a bit better, so you can see it better now. So these are definitely something that you would be using pencils for. I actually feel like these are upside down. I feel like they should be that way. Do you think? that one I like pictures like that Ooh, look how intricate that is if I can get the camera to zoom in that's really intricate Wow I think some of these would be quite difficult to color to be fair because of how how tiny the print is oh that one's pretty I like that one like an underground underground castle Got the seahorse, got a starfish, got a whale, got a ship. The end. Yeah, it is upside down because it says through the Miss Quime no homing ship. I'm not really understanding what's going on there. It's like the books are printed upside down. Or it's like a mirror image of the book. It's very, it's very weird because it looks like it should be that way around. I'm not sure if that's intentional or not. But even so, okay. Um, so Joanna Basford takes you on an irresistible inky journey beneath the waves with ink intricate pen and ink illustrations to complete, colour and embellish, meet shoals of exotic fish, curious octopuses and magical mermaids, visit coral reefs and barnacle studded shipwrecks and discover ornate shells and pirate treasure. Get creative with this beautiful new colouring book and explore an enchanting underwater, underwater world hidden in the depths of the sea. I would be interested in actually buying the full version of this one because I think this is actually on my wish list on Amazon. Okay, so the third book we've got is Wonderland Explore Secret Garden Fantasy Upgrade. Wonderland Exploration, Passing Secret Garden, Heart Eternal Creativity and Innocence, The Odd Mirror of Life, Painted Exclusive Fun Tour. So, well, we've got some like print at the bottom here i know that you don't want to do night homing birds mood love reading this book okay so i'm just going to do a quick flip through that one's nice But of course, we haven't bought these pencils for the colouring books. We've bought them for the actual pencils. 
So the captions on the bottom here, don't be sentimentally attached to routine. The peacock has black and white sky colour occasionally. And the elephant, where is the ant? Ant, 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 ants. <laughs> love remember the past will clarify the impurities in the future can you want to go to want to go to want to go to go ashore how can only swim in the water at dusk man for cats Even if the sense comes with age, it's not a natural ability. <laughs> yes, I agree with that one. There are always some time waved goodbye to a familiar landscape. Uh, ooh, that one's pretty. I like that one. No different and not afraid of the futu for the datong. So that is this book, Add Your Mirror, Your Exploration. Open the cover, you'll see a unique design on the, of the leaflet. Together with friends, colouring, many creative odd mirror enjoy friendship time. Loose leaf collection, more convenient. Add frames or pictures to share one more choice, more of a pleasure. But also multi-angle shooting, more complete than the book presents the works. Come for your most satisfactory odd mirror coated colour it. So there is obviously a very you know a bit of a language barrier there and the last book that we've got is the zen mandala's coloring book now i think i think this is by the same company that i've got some of my color by number books it looks familiar the cover does so another quick quick flip through some very intricate mandala oh wow these are quite nice I wouldn't trust gel pens though, I really wouldn't. Especially if you want to colour the picture on the other side. These are pretty though, I do like these. These are definitely ones that I would colour in. I'm not sure about the other three books, maybe one or two pictures. There's a bit of an imperfection there on the paper. But again, that's not, not a worry. I've seen that one colour in, coloured in. Um, Sarah coloured that one in the other day. I'm not sure if she used these pencils though. I think she did. And that's it. So I like that book. That one's quite nice. I think my door's going to knock. I might have to pause the video. So, these are the pencils. They're in the same kind of plastic container as my Faber-Castell um, felts. Oh, these are nice and shiny. So I'm not sure if you can actually see the shine on them. I think you can. Right, I'm just going to go and get some paper so I can do a quick swatch and I can let you know what they're, they're like. Okay. Got my trusty pad of paper. Shift that out of the way. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five um, trays of pencils. Just get the first one out. Okay, so these are very, very shiny, very, very smooth. Um, so we've got the Brut Funa logo on there. We have a number, which is 098. And there is nothing else on the barrel of the pencil. So I'm just going to do a quick swatch of a couple of them. I'm not going to do a swatch of them all. 
unless you guys want me to and then i would i will happily do that they color quite nice actually can you see that one's quite nice they do feel quite waxy and I do like the variation of colours. I mean, look at this one now. This really bright coloured pink. Let's try this one. Sorry if I'm rocking you. Yeah, they are, they are quite vibrant colours, actually. I like them. Um... Let's try a different colour. Let's try a red. This is more like a pinky red, actually. Oh, yeah, I do like these. These are nice. These are actually really nice pencils. So, of course, you're not buying these pencils for the books. I think it's just a bit of a gimmick really to to get you to buy them perhaps i don't know um let's try an orange they are very vibrant very vibrant indeed um let's try yellow because yellows always tend to i don't know I don't tend to get on with yellow pencils very well. Any medium that's yellow. Let's try this one. Ooh. Oh, I like that. Very nice. I can't get over how vibrant they look. Um, let's try a green. I'm not swatching every one of them, otherwise I'll be here forever in a day. But like I say, if you do want me to do a full swatch, then let me know and I'll, I'll gladly do it. I tend to do a swatch as I'm going along. Um, so if I'm colouring a picture and I'm not sure what a particular color, like pen or pencil is going to look like, I'll just get a scrap piece of paper and just try it out. Let's try a blue. very nice these are definitely getting a thumbs up from me okay so we've tried the first try let's try let's try an orange did we try an orange already let's try this one this is like um very summery like a like a coral that one's very nice also I'm scared that I'm going to break the leads. I'm trying to put them back in the uh, into the tray. Let's try pink. I'm going to use these pencils in my colour in heaven books. They're really nice. So there's a pink. Oh, look at these purples. Look at that. Let me just try a blue well this is like a like a very dark purple almost a blue I'm not sure if that's a blue or a purple actually let's try this lilac color Very nice again. I'm impressed. Try green. I'm looking forward to colouring with these actually. These are pretty nice. And then we've got the brains. Now we've got, we've got quite a good selection of um, the darker shades. 
So let's go with a brown. So I'm not sure what the um, what kind of colours I have in my prismas. Um, and then we have, let's try another blue. Oh, me likey. You guys sick of me saying that yet? And then we're on to the final tray. So we've got our blacks or greys. And then going into the browns. And I'm not sure if that is a colourless blender or if it is just a white pencil. Or you can use it for the same thing, I'm not sure. Um, so let's try this one. This is almost a black. I'd say that's a 939 in the DMC world. Okay, feel free to stick back in. Thank you. Uh, let's try one of the browns. Definitely, I'm impressed with these. I would recommend these. And I'm definitely going to use these pencils when I do um, a picture in my Colour in Heaven book. So just to give you a quick look at the trays... There's no issues with any of the lead. They're all nicely sharpened. I do have a Prisma sharp pencil sharp now. I'm not sure if these would actually work in there. I'm assuming so. So I just love the shades. They're... Just want to quickly show you all the different shades. Very impressive. And I also like the way it came presented as well. There we go. Very nice. So we can put these back. In its case. And then we've got the four colouring books as well. So if you wanted to just try them out as like test pages maybe. Then you could definitely do that probably what I would use these books for I think they're also a bit of a taster to see if you would like any particular book there's two books that I would probably buy out of this the Lost Ocean and the um, the Zen Mandalas and it all clips back together like so oh I think that one might be broken yeah, it's clipped down. Okay, and then here's the outer packaging. I'm not sure why I'm putting these back in here like this. Because I'll end up throwing it away anyway eventually. But Of course, I will put a link to this product in the description box below. If you are interested in trying out these pencils for yourself. Um, I am only an affiliate on the UK Amazon at the moment. Um, I'm going to see what the um, what the deal is with trying to get um, affiliate on the US Amazon. So leave that with me and I will see what I can sort. But yeah, I am really impressed with these pencils. Really impressed. So they definitely do get um, a thumbs up from me. So um, yeah, check it out if you would like to um, like to sample these pencils for yourself. And they are really, they, are, they was really cheap actually. And for 120 colours, there's definitely more in this set than I've got in my Prismas. Um, I'm not sure how many I've got in my Prismas. I think it's 72. So, um, so yeah, these definitely, um, these definitely have a thumbs up from me. So I do hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please do consider giving it a thumbs up. Um, if you are new to my channel, please sub consider. Sub I always mess this up. Please consider subscribing and clicking the notification bell. That way you'll get notified next time I upload a video or I do a live stream. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have an awesome day and I shall see you all next time. Take care. Bye bye.